Behold, the 10th and final Yu-Gi-Oh! Game Boy Advance game. A game that lets you hold up to 60 decklists in the palm of your hand. A game so good, we must break it. Now if your objective is to simply beat Yu-Gi-Oh! Ultimate Masters World Championship Tournament 2006, then you will be disappointed to find out that there isn't technically a way to do so. Simply put, there are no ending credits to the game, but that's not a problem. There's a built-in status meter that shows us our percent completed and we can just reach 100%, right? Of course not. This is a Konami game. What are you, what are you some sort of moron or something? Throughout this video, I will be referencing a Google Sheet that I will include in the video description down below. Okay, so let's start with the basics. There are two main modes in this game, free dueling and challenge mode. Free dueling is where you encounter the 27 duelists in the game. You can unlock all the duelists up to the second duelist in tier five by beating all the duelists in the tier before them either one, three, or five times. However, in order to unlock the last five duelists, you need to complete an overall percentage in the game. That's where our second mode comes in. Challenge mode is made up of four different categories. Dual puzzles, limited duels, theme duels, and survival mode. The first three modes have their own completion percentage, which are then averaged together to give you an overall completion status. Survival duel, in which you keep playing until you lose while carrying over your life total, has no effect on completion status and neither does campaign mode. Upon first inspection, you'll notice that most of the challenges are locked at the beginning of the game. There are a total of 35 dual puzzles, and in order to unlock the last one, you will need to play 200 duels. The second category, limited duels, places a restriction on your deck such as only having fairy type monsters. There's four different ways to unlock limited duels. Duels played, completing challenges of the other type, going on a survival win mode streak, and having an overall completion status at certain percentages. The last category, theme duels, require you to complete a task before winning the duel. You can unlock these in the same way as limited duels but there's also an additional way to unlock theme duels by having specific cards in your collection. Now that we know how to unlock all the challenges to improve our overall completion status, let's take a look at the last five duelists again. The last three duelists in tier five are unlocked at 60, 70, and 80% overall completion status. The last two duelists are listed under the special tier and are unlocked at 90 and 95 percent. The first of which being yourself and uses an identical deck list to the one you're playing them with. The last of which is copycat which calls on your pre-saved deck recipes in order to give them a specific deck. This is presumably to allow people to test matchups without having friends. So you've reached 95% completion status and think, well, that's pretty close to 100. Let me go do that. What are you, some sort of moron or something? As it turns out, one of the theme duels where you use the people archetype to use United Resistance is bugged to where even if you use the card and win the duel, the game doesn't count it as completing the challenge. This means you will not be able to reach 100% overall completion status ever. And while 99% is the highest percent you can complete, technically you can reach this percentage without even having to unlock all the duelists in campaign mode. And because of this, it doesn't quite represent the end of the game as most people assume it does. If you're truly a completionist, then you'd want to unlock all the duelists but then you'd also want to unlock all the cards in the game as well. The only reliable way to make sure you've collected all the cards in the game 
is go to the DP to pack exchange and individually check each pack to make sure you have 100% of each collected. Whether you decide to end your playthrough at Cyber End Dragon, Copycat, 99%, or Full Completionist, there are some basic things that every duelist should know. Money is really tight in this game. I mean, you are poor. Almost as poor as my family, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to help me out. The galaxy brained among you might have noticed that I haven't even covered how to unlock packs yet. This is because the only good place to buy packs is when you start a brand new game. You can capitalize on this opportunity by selecting a few cards that you really want and then resetting your game until you get them. You might notice while you're trying to dig for the cards that you want that pack luck can be super unforgiving. For this reason, in the early game, I recommend going to the password machine and getting all the cards you want from your deck one by one that way. Once your deck is so good, there's no real need to change it. So all that money kind of stockpiles up in your trunk. You can use that money to buy singles that will help you complete more challenges, which completing challenges gives you more money to buy more singles, and you can use that momentum to carry you throughout the game. While some of the special packs, such as the Life Point Recovery Pack, will make your life a lot easier when trying to do that challenge, they are not really required. Now, you can make it through survival mode by taking out all the cards that make you pay life and putting in a couple cards like emergency provisions in order to offset any damage you might take. But if you want a deck that just slaps through this mode, I found that making a deck around the fairy equip that lets you gain life whenever it deals damage to your opponent makes this mode really easy. The limited duels in this game are kind of a joke because almost every single one of them can be done with a monsterless deck. This is because you can complete all the challenges that require you to have specific kinds of monsters and technically you're meeting the requirements. The rest of the limited duels that can't be completed with this are just based on ban lists or are easy and just require you to go build the whole deck just for that challenge. Theme duels require a little bit more work. You're going to need to change your deck to add a few key cards that will help you cheese past the challenges. What this means is you're going to have a pretty standard deck list where you're only switching out a few key parts. However, some of the card based challenges like Ojama Delta Hurricane require a much more massive deck overhaul. For these, I recommend for going more defensive and stall based so that you can draw the game out really long. For challenges where you can run out of resources, like the 10 fusion summons in one duel challenge, you can use cards like Fiber Jar, Reversal of Graves, or Pot of Avarice in order to get those resources back into your deck. The last thing I want to mention is thanks to the help of a wild Dragonite nicknamed Generic Mad Scientist we have access to a no cheats necessary complete banless removal. You can use this on the very first day and do some crazy things like buy a bunch of Legend of Blue Eyes and start off with three Pot of Greeds in your deck. Not everyone wants to have this sort of experience, but if you're looking to just hustle through the game and get specific cards, then this is going to make the playthrough a lot easier. And sometimes tracking your amount of challenges completed can be a little bit of a pain. So I've created a table that you can put your own percentages into from the status menu and it will tell you how many challenges you have completed. But remember, you need to download a copy of the Google Sheet so you can edit it yourself. And yeah, scrubs, that is about it. Um, just a second friendly reminder that I am very poor and I'm actually recording this in the public library and there is a hobo next to me. If you liked it, please sub, uh, please like the video. You'll get more guides. That's how it works. 
I am a slut for likes.